Ethereum hits a possible stumbling block as it makes its way out of the downtrend, but will this stumbling block stop Ethereum returning back to all-time highs later on this week, or are we going to see it push to all-time highs and beyond? And guys, if you're new to the House of Crypto, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all things Ethereum, Bitcoin, and altcoins. So without further ado then, let's jump on over to the first Ethereum chart. So as we can see guys over here on the Ethereum USL chart on the 4 hour, we had this big dip down to the downside through this falling wedge and then we made our way back up through this rising wedge pattern uh, and we've seen it get rejected off the top band of this rising wedge. But are we going to continue to see this uh, break through uh, beyond or are we going to see it bounce back down and then see further down uh, drops through here but now one thing I want to touch on before we get on to uh, some predictions is the ethereum EIP 1559 now we talked about this quite a few times leading up until this point talking about when exactly it was going to happen and there was kind of like a few questions whether it would happen in Q1 Q2 uh, and it got confirmed a couple of days ago now that it's going to happen uh, in July now why is this so significant for Ethereum. Now, a big problem with Ethereum at the moment is the huge, uh, huge gas fees that I'm sure you're noticing if you've been trading uh, trading Ethereum recently. Now, the EIP updates will see an end to uh, these sort of astronomical fees, reducing the fees that we're seeing uh, by improving improving the speed uh, at which the, the uh, exchanges can happen. Another very key thing is at the moment, Ethereum, unlike Bitcoin, is an inflationary asset. So Bitcoin has a limited amount of supply, but Ethereum has been adding gas fees or paying paying miners in gas fees, which is ultimately increasing the number of coins available. However, uh, despite a lot of miners being very unhappy about this due to the fact that they'll probably lose out on a bit of money, um, Ethereum has said that they're going to go through with the process EIP-15, Ethereum Improvement Program, in July, which will burn those gas fees, therefore making it no longer an inflationary asset but a deflationary asset now this is huge because obviously as we drop with supply this can limit the uh, sorry the demand will continue to grow but the supply will drop so you know supply demand is basically what's going to push ethereum to seeing some some ridiculous highs uh, potentially sort of into the summer and slightly later on this year okay uh one thing uh yeah so one thing i mentioned the uh, miners were obviously very unhappy, but it was it wasn't all the miners. So in terms of what will happen, we'll probably see other other companies taking hold of an opportunity as other miners might might sort of move away from uh, mining Ethereum and make opportunities for everyone else. One of the most significant and contentious alterations to the Ethereum blockchain in recent memory is now scheduled for inclusion into its code base. Now, one thing uh, I will draw attention to is in in previous updates and upgrades. Ethereum is quite often maybe a little bit late on uh, delivering these pieces of news. Sorry, delivering the projects that it's saying it's going to release. And what we might also see is as uh, as this sort of anticipation builds, the price will potentially build up. But towards the release of the uh, the release of the actual update, we might see maybe a bit of a dip as people tend to buy buy the rumor, and then you know when when the news or the upgrade is released, as everyone anticipates that it's going to go higher. Actually, it takes a bit of a dip, scares away, sort of uh, shakes out the weaker hands, and then we see the sort of the bigger institutions buying in further to then push the price. But this is ultimately probably one of the most bullish pieces of news that has come for Ethereum in 2021. So really exciting stuff and something we should be really excited about going forward. Jumping back to the Ethereum US dollar chart. So off the back of that piece of news, we saw, you know, a bit of a dip. And that's what we, you know, these sort of dips back. As it broke out, uh, we've seen it come back to this level around 1650. We said, uh, I think we're looking at the charts around this point, and I said that if it couldn't break 1650, then we would potentially move further down. And as you see, we did exactly that. We came above, we didn't really close and hold above it. We came all the way back down and retested down at this level here before pushing further up again, another retest, and then back up again. Now. What we saw, what we saw that was something key to look at is this big shoulder, another head, and another shoulder, which I mentioned was really a very bullish, uh, bullish-looking scenario. And 
uh, it completed its pattern by breaking beyond and actually as you can see it's come back and retested and that gives us a target pretty much back up to the dollar of back at all time highs around 2031. Okay so what we saw uh, happen earlier on today and is actually completely normal guys is that it's come out, it's hit this line and it's come back for a retest and actually what you're seeing as we speak uh, is we've retested the 17, sorry, $16.50 or just below and we came all the way back down to around $16.65 and we've pushed, now we're starting to push all the way back up again. Now in previous times as we've seen it break out of these sort of patterns. So on what I want to show you here is we've seen a bit of a, a consolidation pattern shaping up, right? So as it's come down, it's hit the bottom, and then we've stayed into this triangle. We knew that we were going to have a breakout, either this side, uh, which would see play to the upper side, or we were going to see a break down here. And as you see, the, the resistance, or sorry, support line here held, so we didn't see a drop further down to the downside, but instead we've come up and we've broken here and now we've come back for a little bit of a retest. Uh, and now, as we can see, it's holding. What I would like to see is a big piece of volume coming in to really push us way up beyond that point. In terms of a breakout target, you know, we would tend to probably take the height of this. And it's, in fact, it's the same as the probably the head, it's the same as the head and shoulders. And as you can see, it takes us all the way back up to this all-time high. Now, once we get back to this level, where where can we see ourselves going? Now, obviously, now we've got the Ethereum improvement program come in with a set date in mind kind of gives Ethereum a bit of a, a bit of a green light as well to grow and potentially move much further down, uh, much further up. So what we could potentially see, depending on how long it's going to take, is if we sort of were to shoot up and hit like a new parabolic move, then we would probably come up and test somewhere up along this line uh, before maybe taking a bit of a retest or a bounce along. But uh, in terms of how it sort of projects out, what we would expect to see now is for it to come up and complete uh, complete up toward the all, towards all time high. What I can imagine is we're not going to sort of smash through that all time high in one swift move and potentially we will come up and then we could see maybe us come into another consolidation sort of triangle before then breaking further to the upside. Okay, so obviously what, what we want to see now is a big piece of volume which is see us shoot back towards the all time high. Obviously, it was it's the all time high. It takes a bit of bit of uh, bit of momentum to break through it, so it might take a little bit of sideways out motion before we push back to the upside. Uh, other lines to to be considered as we come back up. Always look at like the you know the previous support and resistance lines. Uh, so just zooming out here on the we're on the four hour chart. You know we saw we saw in the last sort of time around eighteen thirty providing a bit of resistance before being backed up as support here um, and also then came up and we pretty much tested that level just below that level here. So that's somewhere where I could see maybe in the next uh, four or so hours, maybe a little bit more, us coming up towards the 1830 level. Maybe might take a bit of a sideways move or maybe a little bit of a bounce down. But in terms of what we're seeing, I think this sort of trend is looking quite solid. And in, if we continue this line sort of further up here, this should provide us with a with a good level of uh, support as well, where we're starting to uh, starting to break out. But the good news is we've broken up and we've closed a few candles above this 1650 level, which is obviously very bullish, very exciting because uh, it it sort of signals the end, if you like, of this the quite reasonably long downtrend where we sort of spent 10 days or so, kind of with a bit of uncertainty coming down, tested sideways, consolidated nicely, and we've broken out. And literally, as we speak, in the last hour or two, we've uh, We've done a nice dip back down and confirm confirm this new line of support previously of resistance where we sort of came up a few times here, uh, here and here, and you know now that's been flipped into support. That's our key level in terms of where it can hold in the future. If we continue to hold that line, then you know the growth is going to be there, and it's going to come. It feels like it's going to come reasonably, reasonably quickly, guys. Another thing I want to draw your attention to before I finish this video. So obviously a Bitcoin has come back about $50,000 today, which is great. Uh, but the Ethereum versus Bitcoin chart we saw, uh, we've been seeing it come all the way down here. This is on daily. And in the last couple of days, and particularly uh, two days ago, we saw this big push back up. Where we've sort of been re rejected down at this sort of line here. Push back to the upside. And what we would like to see is this continue up 
And if we can see it break out here, at the moment it's sitting around 3.4%. If we can see it break around the 4% mark, then that's when you know Ethereum is going to really, really take off. That might take a few days, maybe even weeks to play out. Uh, but you know, if we can get up towards these levels breaking out around the time of sort of uh, before July and then July, the up update hits, and you know it's a super, super exciting time for Ethereum. Uh, one thing to draw your attention to on the four hourly, if we can see here the 20 moving average, which is the blue line, came over and crossed over the red, which is a very bearish signal. We dropped all the way down here, and now literally uh, in the last sort of few hours or so, we've seen it cross back above red which is a very very bullish indicator and if we look at previously when we've seen that happen we have to come back to kind of touched here but it never really crossed come back all the way down here where we've seen a crossover here and we saw it break all the way to the upside and wow we took a huge huge spin up to the upside there uh, if we come back to here we saw a bit of a crossover not so significant uh, if we've come all the way further back down Further back down this chart, we see a few times where we've seen the bear, the bullish blue cross, sorry, the blue line come up, up again, and then we see these big moves. Okay, so this is really exciting. And this is, you know, since the sort of bear, uh, bull cycle started, there's only a handful of times that we've actually come into a bit of a downtrend, and then we've seen the blue line cross above, indicating that we're going to see some really good upside. And since I've started making this video, we've gone from uh, about 16, 1690. Uh, to around 1700 and then now 1720 so potentially by the video time the video airs we're going to be even higher than that but this is a super exciting time and a very potentially if you've missed out on a buying opportunity then maybe you know this is around the time where you might want to look at purchasing ethereum however go and do your own research i'm not a financial advisor this is just the way i see it and the way i've been doing things i stocked up on a bit of ethereum in the last few days uh on the dip always be buying the dips let me know down in the comments below where you see ethereum going in the next few days do you think we're going to hit all-time high maybe tomorrow or maybe further down the line guys if you're new to the house of crypto make sure you hit that like and subscribe button really helps out the channel and helps me bring more content to you and other people uh, building knowledge about ethereum bitcoin and other altcoins thanks very much for for watching today and i will see you tomorrow with another update thank you